In today's video, we're going to do a live lab session with a wide trips mini scheme from the Arizona Cardinals offensive book. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. I want to talk to you a little bit today about one of the things that I'm trying to do a little bit better is to give you guys a glimpse of kind of what I do that helps me get better at the game and also just helps me lab. And so I thought that this would be a really good video to do, um, especially with Madden 21 right around the corner. It's basically what I do to lab. So basically I come into practice mode and I pick two different, I bring in two controllers. I bring in the, the base defenses, the, the quote unquote meta, right? So what defenses are people probably going to be running? And then I go to a coverage where I can get cover four drop, cover two, cover three, and cover two man that's basically the defensive side of things and i just pick a standard defense i i you know you could grab the niners if you wanted to but i find the sheds and practice mode just kill me so i always come out and cover four and that's kind of the foundation then i pick a playbook that i want to practice so you guys know i love arizona's playbook and um real quick if you find value in today's video or if you just want a free ebook free offensive and defensive guide be sure to join my discord a link to that is in the description and in the comments of this video if there's not a link just shoot me a text my number is in the description and i can get you a link but I want to talk about this wide trips week. So I pick a, a, a playbook that I want. And anyway, once we get 100 people in our Discord, I'll release my free, I'll release this entire playbook for free, everything that I've learned from this. And I've been in this playbook all year long. So I think I have a lot to add to the conversation. So anyway, real quick. So you want to put your running back here. You got your slot receiver here. You got Stefan Diggs here. And then whoever you want here, it could be, it could be whoever, right? The audibles that I want to set. So basically, I'm going to go through and I'm going to set some audibles. And I'm going to try out every single play against every single coverage. That's really, uh, to me, one of the core things that I try to do when I'm labbing. I also will pick kind of four or five plays that I think are going to be really effective. And then I have like a base play that I'll come out in and want to work from. So, for example, if the wide trips, you know, I might pick the play slot fade or halfback slip screen or the RPO from here or, you know, whatever. But I just kind of... You know, the theory that I have, and uh, Z Farrells taught me this a long time ago. He said, if you see a weird route, try it out. So I'll literally um, try out every single route against every single coverage just to see. And you play the game enough, and you get some experience, and you kind of know what works every single year. For example, this play double ends. One of the reasons I like it, it's got some weird different routes. So what I'll do is I'll literally, and I kind of start by audibly to cover two man. And when I have two controllers, I like to spy the guy that I'm on because if you don't do that, then what happens is you can't see, as you guys have probably known. But you see that Kyle Rudolph is on this little mesh route, this, this very simple mesh route. Thielen is on this, this route as well. So one of the things that I like to do is I like to test what routes can I smart route. So I try to I click on Thielen and I click smart route and I can't do it. Then I may check uh, Treadwell. And I can smart route him. So, okay, I know that. And then I can smart route Diggs. Now, what I like to do, and again, this is just what I've been taught. Um, I will snap the ball, and I will run the play, and I'll take a sack. So I'll just sit back here and watch the routes and see what happens. So I take a sack. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into instant replay and try to figure out what happened and why it happened. So at the snap of the ball, I'm going to check out each route. So basically what I like to do is I like to come back in here, swivel the camera around a little bit, kind of get a little bit elevated of a view here. It's kind of like film study, honestly. Um, whoops, I'm having a little bit of trouble here. But yeah, so here at the snap of the ball, you're going to see, um, you're going to see, I got it back up just a little bit more. You see they both get pressed. Those outside guys get pressed, so they're not on bumpable routes. It's, it's not like a hitch route. But as you can see, when they stop, they get a pretty good amount of separations. That route to Kyle Rudolph, um, they're in man-to-man -man coverage. He's coming across, and he does not get open. You see the running back is a kind of a, just a standard check release. Watch this route to Adam Thielen, though. As you see that, see that read right there? Like, that just roasts man-to-man -man coverage. So that might be something that I can kind of build around. So once I see that, then what I do is I try to build concepts, and I'll test another coverage. One of the most cop common ones is Tampa 2. So I'll just call the Tampa 2 and I'll do the same exact thing. So I'll literally snap the ball, sit in the pocket, and just kind of see what happens. How do the routes get open? And then I'll start doing some test throws. So once I see that, I'll do the same thing. And I do that for every coverage, right? So I'll just check through. And again, I'm just trying to smart route the routes to see if I can do anything. Also, you want to do 
some some cool things with motion. See, I can do this right here with Thielen, and he can be on a motion out route like this right here. And you see this little uh, this little in route can turn into an out route very easily. I can motion that over and do that. Another thing I'll test is um, what who all I can motion and where can I motion them. So, for example, if I motion Rudolph to the left, then I'm looking to see what does his route do when I motion him to the left. So I'll snap, throw it. You see how you can get creative with this over time. Also, the hash marks uh, make a big difference. But anyway, all that to say, those are some of the steps that I take. And this route specifically, you see I've got this route to Thielen, but I kind of have to build around it. So, for example, I might want to take Kyle Rudolph and just put him on a streak. And basically now I have a high-low in the middle of the field. There you see I can't see because I forgot to spy my, my guy. But I have a high-low route in the middle of the field. So, for example, if, if I want to be able to throw it up the seams, I can easily just pop it up right there and do a little possession catch. I can click on and do a, do a very simple little possession catch there. The other thing that I have um, against coverage, most coverages, is you'll see Adam Thielen's route will literally get open against most. You'll see he'll get that wraparound animation right there. And you see there... And one of the things that I should probably do with his specific route is if I give him, let's just show you, if they're if they're man aligned and they press, that's another adjustment, right? So now I got to see if it's truly an unbumpable route or what. And you see here at the snap of the ball, he's not unbumpable, and but he does get inside release. So what I now know is, okay, if they're pressing or really in. Really, if there's any chance for him to get pressed, if I sit him on a simple motion, he won't get pressed. And I can snap the ball right in here, and you see he's going to get that nice cut. And now what I can do is I can build around it. That's what I'm trying to get you to see. You know, you can build an entire offense around that simple route right there. I mean, Peyton Manning did. It's called the levels play, right? A very simple, very, very simple concept. But just a high-low. Just a high-low. Very simple right there, and it's going to cut, and it's going to win most of the time. Now, from there, I'll experiment with other plays. So I have all these plays in my audibles. So now I'll check out the play slot fade. And you'll see with this play slot fade, this fade route is kind of a unique route on the play. So I got to check and see if I can use it or, you know, what all I can do. And, you know, every single, every single route, you know, is kind of different. So... All that to say, with these specific plays, you're going to get very different options. So, for example, cover two. So slot fade against cover two. And what I would do with something like this is, if I was if I was running slot fade, then what I've got to figure out is, okay, what, what does Thielen's route do against cover two? It's kind of designed to beat cover two, so you would think right there... It's going to beat that right there, but I just see that safety gets over. So now what I've got to do is figure out how how do I how do I kind of hold that deep half in the middle of the field? Well, one of the ways that you can do that is I could take Kyle Rudolph and again put him on that very simple stock fade route or um, or um, streak route, and at the snap of the ball, what you'll see here is I can hit it up into the outside, and you'll see I'm going to be able to dot it right up the seam, right up the seam. From there, I can do a lot of different things. I have the fade stop route on the backside. I could change Treadwell's route to a simple drag route, right? I could take uh, my running back on this little block and release pattern. And what you'll see here, he's going to go right up in the seams right there. As you see, it could be a nice little check down read for you as well. So these are kind of the steps it takes to lab. Um, and with this specific formation, trips is something that takes a little bit of adjustment for I mean for me it took a lot of adjustment I'm used to two by two sets like very very rarely will I go to a to a two by or a three by one so now that I've done a lot more work from trips it gives you perspective different things to try and test and whatnot so one of the other routes that you have um, from slot fade is you have this fade stop route fade stop routes are kind of a unique route this year and you'll see that if I just kind of let him drop back, you see how that linebacker will just kind of leave him alone? That's a really cool little perk to this route. And in fact, um, with this specific route, with slot fade, I now have 
wide angles on both sides of the field to be able to attack. So you'll see here the slot fade. See how that deep blue just kind of bails on him? That's a key. and It's kind of a check down read, to be quite honest with you. Um, it's always going to be there. So now what I can do on the other side is, now what I've got to test is, okay, now with Treadwell, what could I put him on? Does he have to be on that hitch route? Or could I have something that I can take that kind of drags him across the middle of the field so that I still have other options? So I'm going to put him on just a simple in route. And you'll see um, you'll see he's still able to hold that that cloud um, that cloud flat on this specific play. So we'll go to slot fade, and then I'll take Treadwell, and I'll put him on a, a very, very simple little in route. And you'll see you're still able to hit this read right here, if not even better, um, against the, the Tampa 2 or the cover 2. But what you're now able to do is when they go to something like a cover 4, and you're in the play slot fade, watch what happens with Treadwell. Even if he's on like a simple deep dig, you're going to see you're going to get a nice little wrap around. So if they're in a cover four, you see how that's, that corner goes with him? Well, if they're in a, maybe something like a cover six, you know, different defenses will do different things, especially against like smart routed in routes or deep in routes from the wide guy. But you'll, you, you might have a little bit of a window to still kind of fit that in. And we're not able to do it on this one. But but then you still have that backside in route. So if they're in, um, for example, if they're in something like a cover three and they're taking away your seams, now what you've got is you've got this snap throw streak. You've got this quick route to um, your running back. And obviously you want to set your pass protection up off of it. So that's kind of the key too. But like what I would do with this is ID whoever I want Dalvin Cook to to block. Do set my pass protection up, do all my smart routing. But I'm looking seam. Okay, that's taken away. Okay. And then as you see there, I have that in route coming back late. And again, if you wanted a quick a quick read, a very simple thing to do is to just put him on a drag. And he'll be he'll be a very very simple, very quick read for you. So those are some steps and some very practical route combinations to me that work really well. As you see, that drag gets underneath most stuff, and um, and he'll be very successful. So slot fade, um, mesh, or, or I'm sorry, slot fade and double in. We've we've kind of tested both of those plays. Let me show you this slot fade real quick against or this um, these backside hooks. Just a little backside hook route. As you see, it's not. Not really there against man-to-man. -man. So now let's work on um, some of the cooler routes, like the play weak flood. So the play weak flood, you see I have a, a, a post route to Stephon Diggs. I have an in route to Lacan, Lac or Thielen, kind of an angled in route. Now I have a route to Rudolph. It's like a crosser. And I have a route to Dalvin Cook. So... The first thing is, you know, I can kind of go through all the, the whole process again. But what I'm trying to admit, there's you kind of get to a point where you start to try to figure out certain things. So that post to Stephon Diggs, what I'm trying to figure out is, can I can I throw that against cover two? Is that a good read? If they're in like those vertical hooks, can I inside pass lead that? And as you can see, I can inside pass lead that. One of the issues with this specific play, though, is a question of the weak flood is does Laquan Treadwell, does his route get over the cloud flat on the left? Because that's what you want from a crossing route. Could be a little bit of a later read here. But he's going to drag across. And um, not able to complete that one. But you'll see that in just a second. So I'm just going to call a simple cloud flat coverage. And then I'll just take the running back, just throw in a blue route. And let's check this route right here. So you see snap of the ball. You see the cloud is kind of over top. So he has no leverage over clouds. So essentially a drag would be just, just as good. So his route's really not important um, in the sense of that. So what I would do is probably change, probably change his route 
And really, what I will probably end up doing with this specific route combination is turn it into a curl flat type of setting. So essentially, I would block my running back, and then I would take Treadwell and put him on an in route. And at the snap of the ball, I'd look to the drag. If that's not open, I'd work the backside levels concept. And if neither one of those are open, then what I would do is I would work that post route um, that post route, and this is going to be a really, really good option against some of those cover two type of um, some of those cover two type plays. So as you can see here, something pretty simple like this, but you see, I have basically a a key on levels concept here, and then you have your post route. And that's why we want Stefan Diggs there because he's got that post route elite ability. So that's one way you could do it. And, and I'll show you real quick. We'll show you that against cover four. But that's a way that you, you, you see what I'm saying when I say you could have plays that really work well off of one another. Another thing you could do is simply um, when you motion to trade well and put him on a little hitch and you'll see he'll just kind of sit right there. And, and that's a nice little route, nice little check down read that to me, most people don't run enough of. I mean, I'm myself included. Another thing that you could do is you could take Laquan Treadwell, you could put him on a little zig route, and then you could back, you know, check release the back, snap the ball, bring him in, and you see that little zig is going to kind of kind of sit like the hitch did and really do some work underneath. Um, that little uh, zig is also really well, really good against uh, our man to man. Let me show you this against cover three. So again, the play is weak flood. And at the snap of the ball, you're just running a simple, simple levels concept. That's all you're doing here. But you'll see you're able to work your levels. You're also able to work your backside. Um, you're also able to work your backside concept. All right, so the next play that I want to show you is, and, and the last one I have time for today is, is Mesh. Now, Mesh is a really, really cool and honestly very unique little play here. You see you've got this little auto motion. What that auto motion is going to do is it's going to kind of allow that corner route to have a little bit better of a shot at working. As you can see there, you can kind of zig him in and out. What I really like about it, and that was cover four, let me show you uh, Tampa 2. With this specific route, you can also smart route the post and the corner and then go a little bit deeper. But you'll see here with that baby motion there, you're going to get that little cloud flat to come inside. It's going to give you a lot of room to be able to hit, hit over the top like we're wanting to do. The other thing that you're going to have the opportunity to do is you're going to have the opportunity to work the underneath mesh route. So you can look to the corner. If that's not open, you're going to work back into here. And you're going to work that post mesh combination. Another thing that you can do with this play is you can also hot route different things. If you wanted to try to focus on different things. So one way you could do it is you could take Kyle Rudolph and you could make him part of the mesh. As you can see here, I could just put him on a drag. And then from there, I could take Laquan Treadwell. And I could do a lot of different things. But one of the things that I could do is I could motion him all the way to the left. Put him on a little flat route, just like so. And now I have a mesh with a flat and a post route to the back, as you can see right there, if I wanted to do that. Those are just some simple basic options that you could do. Another thing that you could do is you could take Stephon Diggs, you could put him on an out, and then you could take Thielen, and you could do a motion snap kind of post crosser. And you'll see this will get over the cloud flats. And you see you get that nice diving animation because he's now on a post route as opposed to a corner. So that's a couple little things you could do against that defense. With the wide shallow cross, you see you have this route to Adam Thielen, this little wheel route. This is one of the coolest routes because what's going to happen is if they're in man-to-man, -man, wheel routes, as we know, are going to just destroy man-to-man. -man. So you'll see here, snap the ball. Oh, he's in man-to-man. -man. Okay, I'm going to hit that right there on that outside. And I'm able to go up and click on and make that aggressive animation. The other thing that you're going to have out of this if, is if I take, um, let me show you this against cover four, but this is kind of a, a little bit of a Portland concept. But you'll see here, 
Treadwell is going to kind of go on a little deep skinny post here. And, um, oops, got a little bit of an inaccurate throw, but you can kind of try to fit that in against cover four. Um, let's see if I can show you, show you that cover four here. This is the play why shallow cross, because that in route is going to be a nice deep, deep in route. So Treadwell's coming in on that auto motion. You're looking to the wheel route. That's not there. You look up, step up, step up, step up. And you'll see that route to the post route over the top is kind of there. You want to have a fast guy. As you see, it takes a long time to develop. But it's kind of there over the top against the cover four because of that in route to that deep in route. Let me show you Stefan Diggs route really quickly, too. This is from the other play here. You'll see, I'm just going to force it. But that post route deep over the top against cover four, because you, it's that in route and post route combination, that's going to give you some success against the cover four drop style defense. So again, here you'll see this auto motion. If you wait just long enough, and he doesn't keep running, but... You can pass lead that to the left side. Again, you'll want a fast guy there. I don't think I have quite fast enough of a guy there on the Vikings yet. But if you're in mutt, you can get that. So, yeah, that's, that's a little bit about this formation. I mean, there's a lot more. Um, there's a lot more to it than just what, I shown you, what I've shown you today to the labbing. But you see you have a lot of different things. Really just have a lot of different things that you can do this year. Um, especially with hot routes and things. And what I was hoping that today would illustrate for you is a system that you can use to lab. Like, yes, this is the Arizona book, but this same system can be applied to running the ball. It can be applied to passing the ball. It can be applied to any playbook in Madden. I mean, this is my basic system for labbing. So anyways, guys, just wanted to get this out to you. I hope it was helpful. And if it was, do me a favor, join our Discord, because that is where...